Hey everybody, this is Jessica Lynn of JessicaLynnOriginal.com and today we're going to make a card with a sneak peek. I have a bunch of new stamps that I'm working on and this little digital image that you see is actually one of the first images that is going to be part of our brand new Chihuahua set! Yay! Everybody keeps asking me to make Chihuahuas so this is the first design of that series so hooray! So what I thought I would do is make a super easy card. I'm using my brother's scan and cut just to go ahead and cut out this really fun little scalloped kind of edge. And I am in the process of learning how to use Distress Ink. So I am really excited about it. And uh, I'm so excited. I just, I love it. Now that I've done it, I love it. So what I'm gonna do is use this little outline and I'm gonna use it like my own stencil. I'm not quite ready to use stencils, although after doing this, I think I might be. So I thought I'd make my own version of a stencil and see what I could do. The goal is that this little shape is going to be behind the characters. And I'm going to use a couple of different blues. I just want it to look like a really pretty little sky, like they're hanging out inside of a really interesting window. And uh, it'll be fun. So I have my fun little brushes. And I'm just going to go ahead and start mixing up these inks. And the blues that I'm using, this is Broken China, Chipped Sapphire, um, and I think these two are going to go really well together. So So I decided to add a little bit of mahogany to it just to give it a little more tone, a little turned into almost like a purple color, which looks really pretty on it. And what I love is that my brother's skin and cut has a ton of little st like shapes and stuff I can cut out. So I think I might use those as stencils just to start. Oh man, look at I did right off the edge. Well, you know what, newbie, newbie error on that part. Although I've been uh, with Jessica Lynn Original, I started the company 15 years ago. So designing stamps is not the problem. It truly is still just learning the inks, but I really love it. I think it's gonna be a beautiful little background. So I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of cut off that edge and then that'll be my card. I mean, so the, the image itself, that beautiful background I made, it'll be slightly off to the right which I think will work out fine because then I think what I'll do is put the pups a little bit off to the left. So we'll kind of play with it and see what we get. I've got some ideas on how we can do this. I'm going to start by just taking off that little air and boom, gone. So now the fun of it is I have to figure out how to make this work. And I've got a couple ideas. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I have a really fun sentiment that I found. And then I'm going to put a couple little dog bones on it and colored in with Copics, so I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see the final card. I think it's going to be so cute. All right, so let's go ahead and get this all on my cardstock, and then we'll go ahead and start coloring the pups with Copics. Thank you. 
what a fun idea. I really like sometimes just trying to use the resources that I have around me. Um, I've bought so many things throughout the years and I feel like just trying something with what I already have is a great place to start, especially with all the tools that I have collected over the last 15 years. Um, one of my favorite markers to use to color is the Copics. I think they just color so well and they blend so beautifully. Um, I went and found a picture of some chihuahuas and I found, I'm going to color two of them in the standard color and one of them in kind of the white, uh, white with some gray spots and stuff. I think he's going to be so cute. When I'm drawing dog stamps, I really like to draw like the mom with their puppies or the dad with their puppies. I just think it's so sweet and they get such a happy, I mean, look at her face. She looks, or maybe it's a boy, but either way, the parent there looks so happy and proud of its kids. And I just love that. I think it makes for good cards. And I always try to think when I design stamps and design um, the packaging and everything that I do, I really try to think about what could these stamps be used for, you know? And so for me, I always love to include you know, a little family scene, because I think those are great for like Father's Day, Mother's Day. You could add some eyelashes to her. Um, you know, I think these are great cards for family, you know, like a new family member or something like that. Or, you know, something that has to do with, you know, missing you and my family. And so I love that because then you could mix and match with any other sentiments. And if Chihuahuas are your dog of choice, your adorable pups... How cool is that? Or I think this one would actually make a really good Christmas card. I'd love to see like a little Santa hat, maybe a scarf on there. That would be really cute. Like a Felice Navidad kind of Christmas, Chihuahua, Merry Christmas. You know, I, I, I think it's too cute. And if you had Chihuahuas, I mean, even cuter, you know, color it to look like your dog. I mean, that's, that's really what I do. When I try to design the dog stamps, I always try and do it where you could color them in to look like your pup. So if you ever notice, I don't do a lot of, um, dogs and cats have what they call socks where you can get like white on their feet or they can have a low sock or they can have, you know, different markings. And I try not to do too many markings because I want you to be able to come back in and with a black pen, you could easily add that for your dog and then it would look like yours. So just something I try and do and I am so excited, but this is just one image from the new set that is coming soon. Um, we're going to be doing pre-orders very, very soon, so I cannot wait to share it with you. There are a couple other, there are two images that go with this set, all chihuahuas, and oh my gosh. I think this one's adorable, but I think the next ones you're going to see are even more cute, so I think you're going to love them a lot. So I cannot wait to share them with you. While I'm coloring this and I just want to say thank you so much for watching again. My name is Jessica Lynn. I'm the owner and artist for JessicaLynnOriginal.com. We started 15 years ago. I do custom red rubber stamps. I also do photopolymer stamps. And again, I draw everything you see. So if there's something that you wanted me to go ahead and draw out for you, just toss me an email. I would love to draw stuff for you. Um, while you're here though, don't forget this is our YouTube channel. We love being able to share our art and our fun stuff behind the card, which is a really fun interview series that I recently started. Um, I love it. It's absolutely a great time. I've gotten to know so many amazing people from this community. And if you're interested, you know, sign up, uh, go to any of the links for the behind the card and there's a sign up sheet. And uh, I'd love to have you on. If you just love that kind of stuff though, and you want to know more, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down. Oh, he's so cute. Subscribe to the channel uh, down at the bottom, right? There's like a red button that says subscribe. Go ahead and do that. We'd love to have you back. It costs nothing, um, but at least it'll send you reminders as to when we go live or when we share new videos. And then don't forget to like and comment because I'd love to hear from you. I mean, that's what makes this community fun. You know, I, I think that, uh, Having your feedback and getting to know you guys is really part of the whole thing. Ooh, there's where I totally hurt my finger there. Sorry there. I didn't realize that showed up on the camera. Now this stamp set I have that I'm using, it's a thank you stamp set. Literally, it's how many ways can you say thank you. It reminds me of like It's a Small World at Disneyland. And uh, the one I'm going to go ahead is I'm going to put Gracias. So cute. And there's where I totally chipped my fingers. Sorry, don't look at that. It's like a Willy Wonka moment or like Wizard of Oz, you know, pay no attention to that. Now that I pointed it out, right? Um, all right, so let's go ahead and do some final touches on this card. And I think we are just about set.
I love putting the dogs on the foam risers because it just gives them a little more dimension. And then I decided to use glossy accents. Um, I absolutely love it. I think it's too much fun. And I'm just putting some background texture into the uh, fun distress ink that I used. And what I love about this is when it dries, it almost looks like little buttons or little clear little raindrops that just sort of melted on the card. So cute absolutely love it. Now once I got to this point I realized I needed one more thing and I couldn't decide at first what it was and I realized oh my goodness I need a dog bone in the four corners because I thought you know what okay now in the past I have screwed up cards when I've made up a last minute decision although I don't think this one was one I think it actually looks really good I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the little dog bone in all four corners and where it got a little weird was right by where the dogs were because I had to lift them off their risers a little bit but at least I did that early enough in the process that it was still it didn't wreck the images or anything like that and I didn't have to tear the card apart to do it um, so I mean I still think it was okay. It didn't bend them too bad. So let me just get that little bone right in there. Although it would have been smarter to go in and do this obviously before I put the dogs down, but I didn't realize that it was missing something until after that point. So once I do that I'm going to color in the little dog bones and I think we are set. And this is the final card. I think it looks so cute. Um, I actually ended up like after I filmed this video, I went back in and I colored in the dog bones, same kind of color as the little Chihuahua. But I love it. I am so excited to share with you this first image from my new stamp sets. I will tell you, um, the behind the card the live shows have really kind of re-inspired me and got me really excited to do some new processes. Um, I am currently working on a children's book and I will actually start going ahead and illustrating that on my YouTube channel. So be sure to watch for that. Again, my name is Jessica Lynn, owner of JessicaLynnOriginal.com. Thank you again and I hope you have a great day.